Has a friend ever done slash said something that just straight up ended the friendship? What? I'm the dumped friend. She posted a video from The Onion of a fake senator reading a fake bill that was all redacted, and you could tell with context clues it was basically saying in the event of Armageddon, the high-powered people have bunkers to hide in. She made some comment about the redacting and our government is hiding stuff. I commented that it was a satire video and not real. She got super mad and accused me of trying to make her look stupid. She said there was no way she cold known. The onion was in the bottom right hand corner of the video. She blocked me and we have never spoken since. We had known each other for at least 5 years. I, more accurately, my parents, took her in when she ran away from home for, like, a year when we were teens. When her husband beat her up, early 20s, I road tripped all night to pick her back and move her back in. I mean I can understand that she felt embarrassed, but any normal person would just laugh it off and be like oh they got me. I just think that if this happened to me, I'd feel stupid but wouldn't get annoyed at the person who pointed out my error. Still it's sad that your friendship ended over something so stupid as an onion video. It's not as if it was some big betrayal or anything. My best mate's now ex-girlfriend told everyone I had sex with her while they were dating, when I definitely had not. She was the most irritating person I'd ever met, and I don't know if I've ever been attracted to someone less than I was to her. Ruined our friendship and destroyed her relationship with my mate. She is one of those people that crave drama and can't live without having something wrong to moan about. She's currently pretending to have multiple personality disorder and blaming that for every time she's a dickhead so she can get away with it. Best friend and ex coworker for 5 years. Confided in her and told her about my self-harming, depression and stuff I went through as a child. You can imagine. Two days later she not only told the whole of my old workplace but told my family too. Absolutely heartbreaking. I started a job once as an I.T bloke with one other person, he asked me what my strengths and weaknesses were in I.T, so I said what I was good at and what I might need help with. This guy went straight to the big boss and told him that I admitted that I can't do certain things. I said I had no real life experience with certain areas, doesn't mean I can't do them. I was fired on the spot. Found out later that the I.T guy was running that many scams at work that he couldn't afford to have another person working there that might uncover what he was doing. I was there a week and knew of one scam he was running. This wasn't me, but this story shocks and saddens me to this day. I had two co-workers, Jane and Paula, who were friends. Not best friends, but they did spend time together and had a good relationship. Jane was married to a man Sam who was mentally ill. For reasons known only to her, she refused to leave him and put up with all the crap related to his mental illness. Things finally exploded when one of Sam's co-workers accused him of sexual harassment and attempted rape. There was enough evidence to have Sam arrested and Sam, who had precarious mental health to begin with, went totally off the rails. So, Jane was left dealing not only with Sam being convicted of a crime, but he was having a total mental breakdown. Jane also had two teenaged boys when all this was going on. Well, Jane finally pours her heart out to Paula because she needed an uninvolved third party to talk to. She spoke to Paula in confidence. Of course, Paula was upset that Jane was so upset, but rather than keeping things in confidence, Jane didn't want people to know her business and she also didn't want to risk losing her job, Paula told her boss about what happened. While I don't think Paula necessarily had malicious intent, telling anything to Paula's boss is the equivalent of printing it on the front page of the New York Times and Paula knew that. I think Paula was just so upset about everything going on, she needed to talk to someone, and her boss was there. Needless to say, word spread around the office like wildfire. It was really really horrible. Needless to say, Jane and Paula were no longer friends after that. To this day, I really don't know what Paula was thinking. You know what, recently, like late 2019 I started getting out of the house. I'm a single father of two girls and I've focused on them 1000% for a really long time. I finally got out of the house a few times, and I'm serious I went to this friend's house a few times for game nights, basically drinking and cards. Till this dude hauled off and hit me for accidentally touching his fucking hat of all things. 
What struck me most is that they were hosting and didn't even offer an apology to me. It was quite insane for me. It was like I was back in high school. Unfucking real. I gave them ample time to fucking realize what happened. It took the person 3 months to even realize we are no longer friends on social media and she's trying to add me back now. And honestly, it fucking broke something in me. Friend had physically harmed another friend who was drunk because he thought nobody would notice. Next day I confronted him, and after looking in my eyes and denying what I had seen for 30 minutes, it was like his mask came off. I have never understood the descriptions of the coldness of eyes until that moment. He just looked at me, smiled, and said honestly, I just don't care. We are no longer friends. Everyone else eventually figures out that he was BATS asterisk IT and takes a step back. He checks into a psych ward for 3 days, but keeps the admittance bracelet on for the next 3 weeks. Tells everyone he talks to, using my name, about this bitch who destroyed his life and caused him to attempt suicide. Don't be friends with psychopaths, kids. If they have alienated everyone they ever knew, the common denominator is them. My former best friend, of over 6 years, hit up my ex-girlfriend the day we broke up. He sent her a DM asking if she wanted to hang out at his house parents but WTV. At the time he also had a girlfriend who was pregnant with his kid. My ex hit me and his girlfriend up with the messages. My ex and his girlfriend decided to go together at his place and expose him. I didn't want to do with any of that, but I didn't want anything to happen to either of the girls. So we show up, his mom greets us, and lets us in. As soon as he saw us three he knew that his shit was up, but acted all surprised. We told him we knew. He kept defending his case by saying his little brother, who was fucking six, sent my ex those messages. Well to make a long story short, his pregnant girlfriend left him. He's currently paying child support. He also moved out of the state like a month later. My ex and I are back together and three months into our marriage. Had a whole bunch do it at once. I used to have a group of people I thought were my friends. Because of this, I did a lot for them. I helped them out by working on their projects, supported them, let one stay in my home rent free when they were in danger of becoming homeless. I did all that for these people, but two years in a row, they couldn't be bothered to do something as simple and easy as meet up with me for drinks to celebrate my birthday. Half of them didn't even bother responding to being invited. I've pretty much cut them all out my life now. I'm done being used by those who don't care about me. I went to stay the night with one of my best friends. Long story short, the entire night was just her on her phone, not invested or listening to anything I said. I knew this BCI tested it by saying something that could not be funny in the slightest and she let out this huge fake laugh without looking up from her phone. This was a problem I'd been having with her the past year at most. She wanted to go to sleep super early because she was tired. I ended up lying and saying I needed to go home and she was more than fine with it. After all, all she wanted to do was sleep or text. Not even an hour after I'm home, I see her snapchat story of her at her other new friend's house drinking and seemingly having a blast not only was it hurtful she did that, but that she didn't care I would see it. That was when I decided we were no longer best friends. I still get sad about it because we had been so close since junior high some people just change for the worst. Edit, this will be the third friend I've shared on. Pretty embarrassing for me, but this is the worst one I have. A friend who I just spent an entire weekend with took advantage of my misspace page being logged into her computer posted as me saying I was coming out lesbian, mzged multiple of our classmates too, and made my default a terrible saturated acne photo of me. To say the least, I've had bad luck with girlfriends. I was gaming with my best friend and my wife was sitting on the couch next to me just reading a book. She was super content just letting me game. She just wanted to be spending time with me. My friend had a not even one year old kid that he just stuck in a bouncing chair in the side of the room while we played. He said the kid loves that chair and is in it a lot, so he just games. The kid starts whining a bit, but he gets ignored. I'm thinking we'll probably hit this checkpoint and he'll go tend to his kid. Nope. Several good stopping points had passed and the kid was fussing even more now. So my buddy says to my wife my wife's name, there's formula in the cupboard and the diaper bag is over in the corner there. 
He's probably just hungry, and has a poopy diaper, if you wanna feed and change him. I looked at this guy, like he'd just slapped her, turned my game off, and said how about instead of asking my wife to do it, you put down your game, and take care of your own child? A bit of a harsh response, but he looked so, but hurt that I just told him to take care of his own child instead of game all day. I packed my stuff up and we left. I haven't spoken to him in 3 years. TL. Doctor my former best friend told my wife to feed and change his infant child so he could keep playing video games. We don't speak anymore.